Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Chassidus in the morning. Fifteen minutes to change our lives. Kudus Mayan, Maimer, Te'er, Maimer Yud. Finishing off the first parak. Sarf by giving tzedakah. Kudus tzedakah shemakaros zagulo. Mitz Hashem, giving tzedakah. We should bring Hasten coming from Sheikh already. Also, we're going to learn in honor of all the Yidden Eretz Yisrael and also the soldiers and Yosef Yitzhak ben Simcha and also the hostages that are unfortunately still there and also the ones that are already returned. The Mitzvah they should be good and they should be strong and healthy emotionally, physically, psychologically. And we're going to, that, we're going to have in mind specifically for Rum Bat Mar. That Amit Hashem, room that Ma should should be safe, healthy, and only good. Let me just okay. We're gonna finish off the parak today. And so we're gonna discuss before we we're discussing how Hashem chose us, which is a very powerful, humbling experience when you think about it. We wrote down all these psukim and all these from all these different sources showing how Hashem Bachar us. We are we are his chosen people. And it's yeah, imagine just imagine someone that you really admire and respect. And you know, they they invite you over, whatever, or they come to speak to you, whatever it is, they make some type of relationship connection. It's very, it's very powerful, very humbling. But now we're going to show the other part of that, which is that we also do that, we also reciprocate that. And we're going to bring a very famous Masha from the Medrash. The very famous mimer the rabbi bases it off this idea. Let's see, page one fifty nine. Okay, kumo echad neshamis yisrael. So too, the neshamis of the yidden, bachru b'ashen that we chose Hashem as well. Not just that it's a one way relationship that Hashem is choosing us, but we're also choosing Him. Because like it says in Eicha, chelki Hashem chelki avayi amar nafshi, my Hashem my my portion in Hashem, he says, my soul. Meaning my soul says that Hashem is my portion. And it says the Medjish Rabbo to explain what does this mean that we that Hashem is our portion. This is the famous Medjish in Eicha. It says, Rabbi Avua, B'Shem Rabbi Avua in the name of Rabbi Yechanan. What does he say? He gives a marshal. Amai la melech, shenich nos the medinos, the king came. And he entered into uh, into the um, the province, the city, the the country. <laughs> so he had with him came Durchsin, Jukes, Ifarchin, ministers, they start Lutin and governors. Only Hashem people came with the king. Yeah? And this is this is a martial sort of life. And they had all the Hajj people of the country that were sitting in the middle. And what did they say? So all these people came in. So you can imagine there's there's whatever the government and people came and took over. The king came and took over. Not in a, but it's not in like a he's like a taking over like by force. But it, it's more like in a way that with with respect that they they appreciated, they they cared. For the king and all these ministers and the and the dukes and the high officials to, to come in, so then all the people of the parliament or in yeah the whatever in the government seat of the government they they spoke amongst themselves. So Chad Omar once said, "On a nasiv duchsin, I'm going to choose a, a duke for myself. I'm going to explain why why is he choosing a duke for himself." Chad Omar on a nasiv ifarchin. Like Abu said, I'm going to choose the high officials for myself. The other one said, I'm going to choose the governor. Well, if a farchin is is the is the governor and is, is yeah is the governor, we start Lutin is the high officials. So everyone said, I'm basically I'm going to become buddy buddy with these people. So one guy said, one guy said I'm going to be buddy buddy with the duke. One guy said I'm going to be buddy buddy with the high officials. One guy said I'm buddy buddy with the governor. So higher pikeach echad nisham amar ananasid malka. But there was one chacham, one smart person that he said, "I'm going to choose the king. I want to connect myself, become buddy buddy with the king." Why? 
And he explained, because the chul who mischalfi, no malka in mischalif. So everyone can come and go, but the king doesn't come and go. The king's the king's in charge. And and this is and so now we explain the measures. So kach akum. So too with with the person that does idol worship. Mehem oivdin lechama. Mehem oivdin levana. Some of them serve the sun. Some of them serve the moon. Mehem oivdin leit. Some of them serve the trees. For even and stern. Meaning, people, we have, we have things that we we serve. Uh, I'll give a marshal soon. I'll explain this in more and more practical terms. Avo you saw the Jewish people ain't on Avdin Ella la Kodesh Baruch Hu. We serve Hashem. Hada and this is what it said. This is what it means from the pasuk. Chalki Havaya Amar Nafshi. The same pasuk from the beginning. This is what it means. Hashem is my portion, says my soul. Meaning like this. Meaning, and this is something that we all struggle with. When 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 we stress Lamash, when we stress about Parnasana, we stress about anything in life, I mean, what's gonna be, what's gonna be, I need to do this, and I need to do that. When we when we do that, we're putting a trust in something else but the king. When I was when when like uh, just a, a simple example is when I was when I was I was before I started doing full time living cities, Having to fundraise, I was working. I was working in a different shluchas place, and 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 so and so. I was like, "Come, I need you to help full time with Lucas. Uh, Lucas is needs more manpower." And but the problem, my concern was, what's going to be the price? How am I going to make money? Like, how am I going to? I don't know. A fundraiser, or well, at least I didn't think I was. Now I don't have a choice, <laughs> but. I was like, how am I going to do this? And then it's, it's it's scary. It's like, what's going to be? And, you know, and that's why a lot of people don't go out of shlucha. They're just scared of, of the fundraising aspect. And ended up speaking to a shleach that, that he was sort of in a similar situation that he had gone to work for a shleach and then he went out to be on shlucha by himself. And he, one of the things he told me, he said, he said, you need to speak to someone, a different person that helps with, shlucha, helps with these types of discussions. But he said to me, he goes, He's going to tell you like this. You think that your parnasa is coming from your boss. Your boss is giving you a parnasa. Yeah, you go to a job, you have your boss, and they pay you. So you think they're, they're the ministers, or they're the jukes, they're the high officials. And you say, I'm going to connect to those people, and I'm going to connect to my boss, because my boss is going to is, is give me my paycheck. And I was worried if I leave... Then I'm not going to have my paycheck from my boss. My paycheck is coming from the king. I'm scared of the king. I don't know if the king's going to pay me every time. And 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 that's what he told me. And he goes, he goes. So basically, you think that your boss gives you the paycheck, but you got to re- recognize who really gives you the paycheck. It's the Abish. Hashem's in charge, and the king is really in charge. And this is sort of the mistake that everyone else makes. They jump to the ministers because the ministers are the one. You know, the king doesn't sit there writing the checks. And sit there speaking to the people. He makes decrees and he does these things from behind the scenes, so to speak, or from very high up. And it trickles down to the people on the ground and all these lower level people. But the problem is we connect to the lower level people because that's where we see we're coming from. I saw my paycheck coming from my boss. So he's the one I'm connecting with. I have to be good for him and I have to take care of him. And, I, and Hashem is somewhere up there. And I realized when, when, when he explained that to me, I realized that I was I was lacking in my bitachin, my imuna in Hashem. So I, that pushed me <laughs> with my chesedish uh, yitzhara. But but this is what we, this is what we're saying that that essentially we all have this. We all can. We all have both of them. On one hand, we we realize we're a yid. I heard this story, a funny a funny story, but this sort of proved this point that a yid doesn't want to separate himself from Hashem. The story goes that Rabbi Weinberger, I think his name is. Someone sent me this video, and he's a big, famous rabbi in Eish Kedesh, sorry, in the Five Towns. Big Tamil Chachem, connected with Chabad Chassidus a lot. So he said that when he was a kid, it was Krasvach time, and his, his mother and his sister, they went shopping in one of the malls back in the day, people to go to malls, went shopping, and he was in the toy section. And he was a little kid. 
and he wanted a toy car or something. And it was quite a hard time. And they had, they had uh, you know, the little Santa. Not little. They had the, you know, I don't know. They go, you know, in the malls, they sit there and kids come to them, ask them for toys and stuff and presents. And and you get to, uh, you know, like, go ask for your presents and they give it. I don't know how that works. They give it. You have to give money. I don't know. So, so he was sitting in the toy section by himself when he's, you know, he's, I think he's eight years old or something or 10 years old. And his mother and his sister is in like in the women's section, or whatever, clothes shopping. So he's sitting there and he's not sure what to do. He wants to get like the toy. And and he sees that the kids are sitting there lining up and they go to the Santa and he gives them, they sit on his lap, they talk to him and they get toys. So he goes, so he's a little kid. So he doesn't know what to do. He's like, I'm a yid. But like, I want to get a toy. What do I do? So this is what he does. And this is sort of, this is the basics of, of Chassidus, but this is what happens. He goes there. He's wearing a baseball cap. So he goes, I'm not so, I don't feel so bad. And he sits on his lap. And so he goes, yeah, son, what can I do for you? So he goes, he goes, listen, he goes, I don't believe in this. I'm Jewish. I just want some, t- I just want a toy car. Which is, which is funny. It shows that, that a Yid always wants to connect. We always want to connect to Hashem. And, and and to the extent that we can never disconnect ourselves from that connection. That's why when I go to tell with my kids, I always tell them, you can tell there's a Yid when you ask them, are you Jewish? And they don't answer that question. I'm not talking about the New York just walk past, but I'm saying when they when they when they look at you and they, and they don't they can't answer that, that means that means they're Jewish. But if they're not Jewish, they say, no, sorry, I'm not Jewish. But but a yid can't. It's you know, as long as they know they're Jewish, that's about as much as they need, and they can never do this. So he comes, the first thing he says, I'm Jewish. I don't want a chas shalom. Why? Because I don't want people to think that I'm I'm separating myself from Hashem. Even a little kid. End of the story goes. And he said, so he said, I'm Jewish. He goes, but I just but I, like, I want I want a toy car. So 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 the Santa whispered over to him, and he goes, you're not the only kid here. And he ended off taking like the bag of all the toy cars, and he goes, here, take give it to all your friends. And he goes, I came like I'm coming. I come to my mother with like 15 toy cars. <laughs> so it's pretty funny, but. But, but the point is, we all have this connection. This is the ultimate we're saying that. A yid, the etzem, we all want to connect to Hashem. Ana nasiv malka, I choose the king. But the reality is, like, like in more external, more chitanistic levels, we, we're not always choosing the king, like in my story. And and we have to recognize where we, who are we choosing? Who are we putting our faith in? Are we putting our faith in Hashem? That's the point. Because what is the, what is the pikeh? What's the wise one says? He goes, but all of these people, all these other ministers and dukes and high officials, they can be today and gone tomorrow. But but Hashem is in charge. Hashem is the one that's always going to be there. The king is always there. And this is what I was saying. We choose Hashem. We recognize Hashem. And this kid, at, at, at age eight years old, also chooses Hashem. And we all we all essentially do this. Just we have to make sure to express this all the time, and not uh, fall for. Someone else is giving us a pranasa. That's really all Hashem. But that's really what's happening. The, the duke and the minister is giving you whatever they're giving you, but all mishtash all comes down because of the king. The king's the, the top. And, and, and don't get confused. Zeu, and this is what it means. Shatera nistalon, the Torah is given to us. And the Torah comes from Hashem's wisdom. The Indian Hatera U Mitzvah Hu Mitzad Hapnimis Shisham Hu Hajbun Ramadida. That the Indian of Tayra and Mitzvah is in Bapnimius, it's internalized. Like we've been showing here, this there's, there's a very deep internal relationship between us and Hashem. And so to the Torah is coming from this internal level. It, it's being brought down in Chachmah. And on that level, because it's internalized, this connection. So who are Cheshbon Madida? Therefore, it's calculated and it's measured. It has to be in very specific ways. But it's not terribly sold off. And is specifically given to us. We have that inner desire because what we've shown here in this in this parak that us and Hashem are really deeply connected. Hashem has a real desire for us, and we have a real desire for Him. And what comes with that is a real relationship. In, in a real relationship, it makes much more of a difference what you do than in a not in a real relationship. Some random person on the street tells you, oh, you look funny or you stink. Okay, whatever. But but your spouse or your good friend says that to you. It's very meaningful. It's very hurtful. And this is what we're saying. So so this idea that he's talked about before, that the eight Sahara comes and says to you, oh, I don't care. I don't need to be connected with you. Connect to Hashem. I'll do whatever I want. And I can still get. 
but but that's not a but, but but you're missing the whole relationship. And what we're showing here, we have a really deep relationship with Hashem. So therefore, we have to be very careful the way we treat that relationship. And tomorrow we're going to discuss more about the mistaken idea of being able to go circumvent this whole idea and just go from the market if why it doesn't work. Finish the kitzim. Achet is someone who sins. Achreshev shekasheyelech b'shush live that they think to themselves that when they go according to their heart's desire, shalom yeloi. It'll be good, peaceful for him. They'll do whatever they want. They don't have to connect to Hashem. Not like we just talked about today that I choose Hashem. I'll choose something else. I'll, ch I'll choose the ministers, the jukes. I can get plenty from them. This is Bedugma Sitrach. This is like the Sitrach Shmikabelos Mihamakif that it receives from the Makif, from the external, from the from not internalized, not the real deep relationship connection. Mihamakif Shafa Mirube. And it gets a lot. So tell you, but this is a mistake. Because being that we come from Pnimius, I know Haim, Bechir, Asa Atmos, we are the ones that are chosen by Hashem's essence. Not an Atmos is, is the deepest level of Hashem. I mean, we're not just chosen by this external level, like, like the deepest level in Hashem, He chooses us. Kaviyachu, Bisol, so to speak, He chose us in here. And the reason says, so to speak, because an Atmos is such a high level. To say he chose is already, it, it's hard to say in such a high level. And in Hashem's, basically, but in simple English, you're saying in Hashem's truest essence, above and beyond anything, he's choosing us. But you saw the heim, bechirs, you saw about us. And we, we reciprocate that, that choice. And we also choose Hashem. And not just Hashem, the way he's going to give me my food, my parnasa, or have a good day. But the de deepest levels of Hashem, like this kid, the, that he has to say before anything, I'm a yid. Baruch Hu, Batsu's Baruch Hu, Mitar Premius, because this is the inner dimension of us. This is who we really are. This is our real connection with Hashem. And therefore, when we come to try to do it in a different way, that's not we're not being true to ourselves. And that's what we're going to discuss tomorrow more, how that doesn't work. But 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 the, the important lesson we can take from this, we have to recognize that are we choosing Hashem or are we getting caught up by something else that's not Hashem? Are we are we are we, are we serving other gods? Do we think do we think our boss is the one that gives us Parnasa? Or do we think what, like, whatever, we keep that example. We think our boss is one that gives us Parnasso, or do you think it's Hashem giving us Parnasso? Think about it and have an amazing day.